Hey everybody, Spiro here from SpiroCloud.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Namecheap domain on SiteGround web hosting. SiteGround has recently introduced a new web hosting portal, so connecting domain into SiteGround is now slightly different. Also, Namecheap is definitely one of the best domain name registers, and I'm using it myself for more than 10 years and recommending to all my clients. So no wonder I got this question recently. But before we go into it, I just want to let you know that here at my channel, we talk about how to make money online, how to quit your nine to five and earn your freedom. So if you want to start your online business, grow your YouTube channel and make money online, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Now let's go on to my computer and let's do this together. All right, guys, we are now inside my computer and over at SiteGround.com and as you can see, Namecheap.com. So over there at SiteGround.com, I'm already logged in into my account. By the way, if you guys don't have a SiteGround account and if you're hosting with HostGator or even GoDaddy, I strongly recommend you to check SiteGround. And if you lose, use link down below in the description of this video, that's my affiliate link and I'll get a tiny commission with SiteGround. Now, so once you log in into your SiteGround panel, you have to go over here and click on websites. Once you are on a websites panel, all you have to do is click here, create website. And that will take us to the next step. In this first step, we have to select either new domain, existing domain or temporary domain. Since we moving domain from a Namecheap or actually pointing domain from a Namecheap to SiteGround web hosting, you will wanna use an existing domain. So click select and then add your domain name here. So my domain is blogonaffiliate.com. And then click continue. And now we're going to get this notification that uh, domain is not registered with SiteGround account and that we should have access to that uh, domain register in order to update our DNS settings. So once you, once you sure you have an access to the domain, just click continue. And as you can see, it will take you to the second step where we can set up a new website. We can install a brand new website, whether WordPress or WooCommerce or something like that, or we can migrate existing website. You can also skip and create an empty website. And that's what we're going to select in this tutorial. And now they're trying to upsell us. They're trying to sell you SiteGround site scanner. And I don't think anyone needs this, but yeah, you know, I'm not going to add this. So just click finish. And now it says it might take up to two minutes to complete your website creation. Yeah, you look guys, so far it looks very simple. Once uh, this site is created on a SiteGround site, as you can see, it took less than 15 seconds. Uh, you're going to get these domain name servers. And now you have to point your domain inside your Namecheap account into these domain name servers. So I'm going to copy first name server. Then I'm going to go on to my Namecheap account and I'm going to cover over my domain and click on manage. And now you have to change these name servers from Namecheap basic DNS into custom DNS. And now in a name server one, copy the name of the name server one. And then here in the second one into name server two. And now just click this checked icon to save changes. It will take a couple of seconds. And it says that DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take an effect. Uh, guys, from my own experience, SiteGround is very reliable and fast hosting. So it usually takes like 10 minutes, uh, sometimes even less. Let me check this. And guys, as you can see, it's already updated and it's working just within a minute. And that's it, guys. We have pointed your Namecheap domain into your SiteGround web hosting. And now you can start with building your site. Um, if you follow this tutorial along with me, and you're ready to continue on the next step, make sure you check the cards on the right hand side, where I'm gonna leave two related videos that will teach you how to create a WordPress website and WordPress e-commerce site. Uh, also, before I knock off, I just wanna invite you one more time to subscribe and don't forget to hit notification bell because that way you'll be uh, notified once I release a new video. And um, thanks for watching, I'll see you again. Cheers.